Hi, my name is Tina Diller with Quilting Affection Designs, and I'm the designer of this wonderful quilt, Double Turbine. Double Turbine comes in two sizes, wall and queen. And it uses the Studio 1E design tools plus the Sue Pellin Hearts and More Template D. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make the applique units in this quilt using the Supellin template and then chain piecing these pieces together. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our applique units. You're gonna to need to gather your Hearts and More template D, a 28 millimeter rotary cutter, and your green squares that you've pre-cut, and your white strip. Okay, once you have your white strip, you're going to go ahead and fuse the back of that strip with your favorite fusible webbing. I prefer the Misty Fuse, and I put that on right away, let it cool, and it is ready to go. And I don't have to worry about paper backing at all. So once you get that fusible webbing on and it's cool, Go ahead and then cut the, your strip down to four and a half, just like this one is, and then subcut them into four and a half inch squares. Once you have those four and a half inch squares ready, it is time to go ahead and get started cutting these units. So let's get, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start that next. Okay, we're gonna now take our white four and a half inch squares, we're going to fold them in half on the diagonal and we're going to put a slight crease into that fabric so we have that to lay a little bit flatter. And now we're going to place this on our mat and I suggest a rotary cutting mat that rotates. Um, you can use the side of your table also with your cutting mat that's a good way to do it also. Then you're gonna take your Hearts and More template D and we're gonna use the three inch side of the template. And you'll notice that there's an arrow that goes up and down and there's a 90 degree. We're gonna be using this arrow line and we're gonna place that on our fabric. And you're gonna make sure that tip of that fabric is sitting on the edge of that three inch circle. Once you have placed that, you can rotary cut. Now, right-handed people are going to cut this way and left-handed people like myself are going to cut the opposite way and you're going to rotate your square as you go and we've cut our first piece. Once you open that up you'll notice you have a little heart. So now we're going to put that aside and we're going to go to the other side of that and we're going to line up again that arrow on the raw edge side and we're going to make sure that circle goes into that tip right there and we are going to do another cut. Again, right-handed people are going to go this way and left-handed people are going to rotate from the opposite way. And you're just gonna slowly move around to get that cut. Now you have another piece. Now, you're gonna have a little, this is gonna be an extra piece. You'll notice that your pieces should look like this. Now you can, we're gonna use the outer edges. The center, you can save these and make a whole nother quilt out of it by just placing them on a square, four and a half inch square, and fusing them together, and then stitching. 
to make a, a nice tile block. So I'm going to show this again one more time how to do this. You're going to fold in half, get a nice crease, lay your tool. Again, remember your arrow goes on the outside raw edge side, not on the fold line, and you're going to cut. Very smoothly, one side, line up again, and do the second side. And you'll notice that I really don't have to move too much. As I do that, you have three pieces. Unfold them. And you have your pieces all together again. So now we're going to go over to the ironing board. I'm going to show you how to place your two ends on your square. And then we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to fast and easy it is to chain piece these together. Okay, so now we're at the ironing board and we're going to go ahead and we're going to fuse our little heart shaped pieces to our green squares. Now I've already placed my applique pressing sheet, which is my fat goddess sheets. And I put one down and I'm going to have another one on top so we can protect our iron from any fusible webbing that are, is out so it doesn't get that on that. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our hearts on. So you're going to take and put one heart on top, making sure you hit all the edges so you can see you don't have any edges and you're going to place the other on the opposite side. And you're going to do that with all of these. You're just going to place them on the opposite side. So you're going to have a center that is green. Once you have that done, take your other pressing sheet, lay it carefully on top, and you can see them underneath. And I can see that they're still in one place. I'm going to take my iron, and you're going to press these very carefully press them together once these are pressed they're ready to go and we're going to be heading to the sewing machine to start sti decorating stitching these together by chain piecing them see they're all ready to be going through our sewing machine. So we'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, now we're at the sewing machine. I'm using a Bernina 740 and I have already set up my foot. I've put this on a blanket stitch and I've also taken the needle all the way over as I can. I put it like at a five. And the blanket stitch I have set at is 2.0 and a it's both 2.0 and 2.0 stitch length and width. So that's what I've done. I've already put one applique unit, as you can see, underneath. So now I'm going to show you how to get started with another piece and then we'll go from there as for getting get ready for um, the next piece for chain piecing. So let's get started with that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my knee lift and I'm going to put this underneath the machine and I'm going to go ahead and let it get started and what I'm doing is I'm lining up that needle right at the tip or the edge, excuse me, the edge of that raw edge applique and you're just going to go ahead and follow that do a couple stitches then you're going to lift your knee up and adjust as we go. You're going to keep doing that. 
Take a good couple stitches. You notice you're getting off angle. Go ahead and move. You want to start, when you're starting out, you want to do it slowly and then you can speed up. I would not do this as a race. Not, this is not a jelly roll race or anything. You want to do it nice and even, keeping consistent with your stitching and keeping the needle on the edge of that raw edge of that piece. And now I need to adjust again. And we do not have a lot of area to cover in the on these little heart pieces. So that's what makes it so fun and easy. So now I'm at a point where I need to get to that tip. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hand and adjust it so it will land in that tip of that piece and adjust it to the good angle and it landed perfectly. Sometimes you have to get a little nudge. Go ahead and keep going all the way across and keep stitching. Once we get through this piece I'm going to show you how easy it is just to grab another piece and flip it around and you continue chain piecing these pieces and I've gotten inside a little bit chain piecing these as we go we're almost to the end here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop in a few seconds I'm going to get off of this fabric do a couple stitches and I'm going to go in the back of this cut it so now you can see this is the very first piece. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to snip those threads. We don't need those threads. Those threads are going to be hidden when we sew our pieces together. So now we're going to go ahead and move that other piece out of the way. And we're just going to chain piece again. We're grabbing the, that fabric and just lining it up and going. That's how easy it is to do the applique on this quilt for double turbine. I love doing fast, easy applique. I know many of you do also. Um, that's why I'm thinking, or I, I should say, I, I know that these templates will speed up your process and speed up your applique process as we go. So we're almost through for this piece here. I need to slow down just a little bit so I can get my angle just right. If you don't get your angle just right, you're going to be on the fabric. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And again, I'm going to show you by just grabbing the, the side handle of your sewing machine, rotating it forward, and then making, putting this at an angle. You're going to get into that side edge nice and even. So now we can finish this up and I can show you what it looks like with the raw edge completely done. I just love doing the apple cake because I think it it's, keeps your mind calm and content as you go. We're almost to the end here. I'm hoping my hands are not in the way of the camera. Okay, we are done. I'm going to go ahead and lift the needle, lift my presser foot, go ahead and pull these out, cut the threads, snip these apart. And you notice that we have these two chain pieced. And you can keep going as many as you want all the way across and then come back and start all over again. That's the wonders of this. So this is what it looks like. Nice chain piece on the back also. And like I said, you don't have to worry about your tucking your, your ends in because these are going to be pieced together. So when we come back, we'll conclude this video and um, 
wrap things up. Now that we've learned how to make these fun, easy apple cake units for our apple cake block, we now we can go finish our double turbine quilt using our Studio 180 design tools and the Supellin tools you can make this top quilt in no time flat. So I hope you enjoy this video and my double turbine quilt pattern and I hope to see pictures of your quilt really soon. Thank you and goodbye.